Hey guys! Um, so I've been <laughs> fucking addicted to this game uh, for about a week now. I'd say I've, I've pretty much neglected everything else in life except the dogs and the boyfriend. So, uh, yeah. Um, I thought I'd give you some rundowns, so like a quick tutorial playlist probably of all of the things that I wish I had known before I pl started playing. Um, we will start with the backstory. So this is the the world, the earth. It's been taken over by a storm, however much percentage of people have disappeared or whatever. And uh, zombies, zombies happened. Um, so they're called the storm. Uh, I have my own nicknames for all the, the different uh, Zambi types, but there are official names like the Flinger and the Wall Destroyer or whatever. Anyways, so this is the world. All the purple is the storm, uh, and our job is to clear the storm. And so if I select to go into this area, this is where you're going to start with your storm shield. Um, this blue area protects that area. And you'll go through storm shield defenses, like I'm on number eight or nine right now. And the the, the more you go, the higher up in in uh, power the zombies are. So you got to level up your weapons and shit. Anyway, so the things that are important to know is that this this little question mark is a kind of free for all. So if somebody only has three people playing in a game. Uh, that is one of these missions, then you'll be thrown into those. You do have an option um, when you select it to choose between uh, choosing your own uh, strength, so like 19 or over, um, or to quick play, which is anything, really. So I usually choose the quick play because I don't mind having, helping out people with lower uh, levels. But yeah, that's the basics of this. There are different powers, so you start out at your storm shield, you'll probably be level one when you start, and as you'll press them, you'll see here you'll need power three. So this is your power, this is your level, and you'll need a power that matches that. So uh, once you get to level three, uh, the, the zombies are going to be level three, and over here as well. Once you get further away, the zombies become more powerful, so you should be more powerful in order to face them. It is okay to uh, go and attempt something that's out of your power level. Um, so this is like level 15. It'll tell you how deadly the mission is, or whatever. And it also gives you the uh, like the rewards for what you're going to get at the end if you success succeed in the mission. So over here, this is an atlas uh, defense. And uh, you're going to get Hero XP and Survivor XP. There are three different kinds of XP in this game, I believe. There's Hero XP, uh, Survivor XP, and Schematic XP. So, yeah. You gotta... It, it's a little complex. That's why I love this game so much. I think that's why it's caught my attention. There's mostly the same kind of missions, but every time you have a different quest, side quest to complete while you're in it, which is nice because unlike in World of Warcraft where you get distracted by side quests, here the side quests are integrated into your main quest. So that's pretty cool. So things to remember, uh, we went over the storm shield and your level, um, the free for all kind of help out others and the uh, storm, the zombies level versus your own level and how to do that. Yeah, um, I'll see you in the next one.